Being voted a captain was an extremely huge honor for me. Um, it showed that my teammates believed in me um, over my past year that I worked hard enough that I was going to be able to lead them by example. And the fact that you know they put that um, trust in me made me just want to you know win even more, made me want to work harder even more. And it, it, it's been an honor. Um, I've enjoyed it. I get to you know sort of be a leader both on and off the floor, and I, I've enjoyed all the responsibilities that come with it. I am a finance major. I will uh, graduate in the spring and uh, this summer I was able to do a internship with First Financial Bank. Um, Michael Davenport, who was actually just recently inducted into the Hall of Fame, works for First Financial. Um, he got me in contact with the um, people in the corporate finance department. Uh, I interviewed and was able to get a position there um, over the summer and it's really, it really was an experience that I'd you know, suggest that anyone who's uh, in college and pursuing a business degree would take advantage of. Uh, on my interview, I interviewed with a guy named Skip Sorge who was in charge of corporate finance and um, I was sitting down at a table and when he came in uh, to start the interview I stood up and hit my head on one of the lights and um, so I, I at least made a great uh, first impression. He can't forget that. So. Post-graduation, I'd like to play basketball for as long as I can. I, I understand that you know injuries happy, happen and s other stuff happen, um, but I'd like to play basketball for as long as I can and then pick up a career in the hopefully banking world. I, I've really enjoyed the banking world and I'd like to you know, maybe be financial analysis, um, work in the corporate finance department, something like that. Having all of uh, Xavier's athletic programs support each other in the community is something to be very proud of. I was just voted um, the co-president of the Student Athlete Advisory Committee, and it's something that you know we've sort of embraced as a group. And you know the fact that I can go to a cross-country meet or a women's basketball game or a soccer game and feel comfortable there it has a lot to do with the fact that they come to a lot of our games, they go to a lot of other games themselves. Um, we actually just got the opportunity to go to Gospel City Mission. Um, as, as a SAC group and we were able to serve food to those who were less fortunate and that sort of you know shows our team bonding as a whole as a whole Xavier athletic community. This is Stainbrook banging his way in on Sealy nice spin reverse layup is good on the left I side. I think my coaches would describe me as a, um, a hard worker but also a guy who you know sort of getting get led astray a little bit um, they know that I work hard but they also know that I like to have fun I'll, I'll be a guy for them that can go up to their offices and you know, spend 30 minutes talking to them about, you know, their day, about, you know, recent media and anything. I, I'm a guy who can talk about, you know, stupid stuff that was in the tabloids, or I could talk about, you know, the heaviest financial crisis that's currently going on, stuff like that. Two words that my teammates would use to describe me would definitely be um, unique and outgoing. Um, I'm a guy that I would like to say is one of a kind. Um, they never know what's going to, you know, either come out of my mouth or what I'm going to do action-wise. Uh, during practice, I'm going to be a guy that's going to try to keep it a little bit lighthearted, but but at the same time, you know, being serious and being able to you know get stuff done. But a lot of times, I can pro provide a little bit of comic relief when it's uh, appropriately needed. And um, you know, outgoing, I'm a guy who's not afraid to talk to anyone. If if anyone walks up to me on campus, I could talk to them for an hour, and uh, they all know that. And uh, sometimes they don't necessarily like that. I am a huge fan of the word Stain Train. Um, I saw a sign, there's a group on Twitter called the Stain Squad, which I think is phenomenal. Um, I encourage anyone that you know, wants to come up with a nickname or support me and the whole team. Um, for me, that's what makes basketball fun. And you know, I, I'm a guy who, if, if there's anything I can ever help to do to make people you know, experience in the student section even better, I would gladly do it. You know, I find the people who are involved and who uh, actively participate in the student section as just you know people who make Xavier Nation what it is. Now he comes back out, so Maje does, and now a nice bounce pass to Steenbrook. He lays it up with his left hand. A lot of people like to make fun of James Farr's chin. He has a very uh, large chin, so if you want to call him Jimmy the Chin or Chin Jim, um, there's a lot of nicknames for him, and that's actually uh, apparently been picking up on Twitter too. After some games, he's gotten some tweets at him saying, you know, good job Jimmy the Chin, stuff like that. The biggest jokester on the team is Tim Whalen. He is able to just analyze everything in practice and bring it up in the locker room after. Um, if you did something wrong or you said something funny in practice and you didn't know it, he'll make sure you know it. You know what, I'm really looking, um, I'm anticipating that someone will make a Twitter handle for my goggles. They've, they've taken a little bit of a beating and um, they've stuck with me you know, throughout four years and hopefully 
Someone soon will be able to personify my goggles and allow them to, you know, ex express to all the fans out there how much they, uh, they really enjoy Xavier Nation and how much a beating they take.